And we're back. We're going to be doing the Centering Prayer. Um, so for those of you uh, watching along on YouTube, uh, this is going to be essentially 20 minutes of dead air. Um, but, uh, but I hope that you will uh, watch this when you're in a position to follow along with us. Uh, we're going to do the prayer. We're going to have a discussion about our experiences of the prayer. Uh, we'll go around and each of us will have, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. Um, keep in mind now that I've said that, a lot of what you're going to be thinking about while you're doing the prayer is, oh gosh, I should really talk about this when it comes to be my turn to talk. <laughs> uh, remember your word. So pick your word now. It can be anything you want. Um, short, one or two syllable word. And uh, re just remember your word and come back to it. Um, Bishop Thomas reminded me of a story uh, that, um, that we believe comes from Thomas Keating as well, where uh, he asked uh, a person during a centering prayer workshop after they had prayed, how, how did you find the experience of the prayer? And, and the woman said, oh gosh, it was terrible. I, you know, I must have been distracted a hundred times. And he says, no, that's wonderful. You had a hundred opportunities to come back to the prayer. And, and that's, that's the way we ought to look at it. And, and again, a, a, lot of, a lot of what we hear when we learn meditation, at least the way I learned meditation, was you're going to have thoughts, and thoughts are bad, and you should feel bad. And that's just a terrible way to learn how to do this. So um, we're not going to do that. So I have a little, uh, I have an app on my phone. Um, it's called My Meditation, and uh, it works. It's an app for that. It, it works rather well. It's made for a pranayama uh, kind of technique, but, I, but if you buy the like $3 version of it, you actually have a lot more options for configuration. So what I've done is I've configured it. Um, it's going to give us, when I start it, it'll give us 30 seconds to relax and get in, in, into our position. I'm actually going to give us a little more time because this is our first time as a group doing this. Um, then uh, you'll hear a bell. Then you will hear uh, sounds of breathing. And that will be our, our cue, our timing to take for our uh, rhythmic breathing, four full breath exercise. Um, if you find that you cannot keep up with that particular pace or you want to do something a little slower or, or however you decide, um, feel free to ignore the, the sound of the breathing and just breathe at whatever kind of regular comfortable pace you feel uh, is useful to you. Um, people on the internet uh, probably will not be able to hear the sound very well, so I will also be giving cues if I remember uh, when, when the different things change. After the fourth full breath, you'll hear another bell, and then there will be 20 minutes of silence, at the end of which another bell. And then we'll take a few minutes just to kind of sit peacefully for a minute, and maybe we will, uh, if you feel the need to uh, recite a prayer mentally, you can do that as well. Uh, that's, that's typically how the prayer is ended. So, uh, if there are any questions before we get started, yes. I was always told, uh, keep your eyes slightly open. That was very challenging for me. In centering prayer, um, one would be customary or is that you want to be most comfortable? One, when one feels more comfortable with the eyes slightly open on the closed floor. I close my eyes. Um, I can't recall now whether anybody said anything specific about that, although I'm sure somebody has. Oops. You, you don't close your eyes? Oh, you don't. I don't. I mean, I, I think I mean, most of what I've seen for posture and things like that is to do what's um, mm -hmm. comfortable, do what keeps you attentive. Yeah. And so, it's, and, you know, part of the reason we keep the, the, the knees and teeth you keep your eyes partially open so you don't, you know, fall asleep. I, last week or so, I got a tweet to a Facebook post from one of the Joe and I who was in uh, Australia, and he said he sent me a I just finished practicing the set right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is which is fine if that's what happens, but we don't we're not shooting for that. Right. Let's let's aim for not falling asleep. I think that's that's goal number one. Don't fall asleep. Okay. Um, so then let's take a few minutes now just to just to relax. Find put yourself in a comfortable position. And do whatever you need to do to make sure that all of your muscle groups are relaxed. If you want to start from the top of your head and work your way down, just breathe regularly and comfortably at this point. 
pay particular attention to your jaw, your tongue, your neck, your shoulders. Feel every point where your body contacts the chair that you're in. Are you holding any tension there? Are your knees comfortable? Okay, I'm going to start the timer. We'll have 30 seconds to continue to relax, and then you'll hear a bell, and then the breathing will start shortly after that. All right, now begin your rhythmic breathing.
Now we'll begin the prayer. Repeat to yourself the word that you've chosen. Gently and without giving it any thought.
and that's 20 minutes. Take a minute or two to gather yourself, wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit. a little bit. How was everybody's nap? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been riveting television. <laughs> <laughs> no, great. I'm going to take a drink of water here. Um, and then we're going to uh, we're going to go around and each of us uh, have a little bit of uh, talk a little bit about our experience with the prayer. Um, I'll start. Um, I, I fall into this trap a lot where um, I will experience something during the prayer and I'll immediately think to myself, oh, here's a good teaching moment. I should remember to talk about this later when I... And, and I'm, I'm constantly doing that and so I have to stop. And then I thought about, oh, I have to remember to say this so I can remember to stop thinking about this later. It became this whole meta thing of layers of... It was meta distraction. It was a it was a distraction about being distracted, um, and so that was uh, you know that that was kind of uh, uh, that happens to me a lot. So, um, and then about I would say halfway to three quarters of the way through, I I always get these intense kind of really vivid visions of just kind of random wacky anything. You know, um, this time I saw a robot and some monsters, and like, I don't know what's going on in my brain today, but just just these random visions, and, it, and because my eyes have been closed for so long, but I've been conscious for so long, I think that my brain just starts to kind of fill in, oh, you haven't seen anything in a while, let me let me throw something in front of you, you know, let me, here's, a, here's a bunny, oh, like, great. <laughs> so, uh, so that happens to me. Um, also, and I was thinking about uh, distractions happening in the body, you know. Um, right towards the beginning, my left ear started to itch, like you read about, and uh, and but I, I like it when that happens because that, for me, is a very concrete way of saying, okay, that's a distraction. You know, that that that's, that one's an easy one for me to overcome. And often when I get an itch or I feel uncomfortable, I. I don't scratch it, I don't move, but I feel kind of a sensation of, of rising up and the, the distraction, the itch, the uncomfortableness just kind of falls away. It never really goes away, but it just kind of, it stops becoming a distraction. And so that that is, I find that to be a fairly easy one to overcome. The, the robots and bunnies are, are a bit more, a bit trickier for me. Uh, yeah. Who, who would like to go next? Okay. And speak up so the microphone can hear you. <laughs> I was erring in the opposite direction, where occasionally I drifted into the uh, the famous during nap. Mm -hmm. But um, actually, the kind that the Lord helped me a lot. Um, my Lord was Caritas, you know, love, 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 agape, and. Uh, I found that when I would drift to sleep, as soon as I came back, the first word that occurred to me was Caritas. So the having a word really did help mm -hmm. the center. So it was, it, you know, aside from the occasional drifting into the nap, it was the experience. Now, is this, uh, are you a morning person? Uh, well, I've been, <laughs> I'm an insomniac. Oh, okay. So I've been away for over 20 but Now everyone online, <laughs> I've been away for over They can't see you, so. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I think that was the problem. I'm mm -hmm. going to sleep. But uh, it really, but as I said, I was able to focus once again. But I came back to work, Caritas. So it did, it was very helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also found the word. Once I stop thinking about the word, um, mm -hmm. when I start, I started having problems with the beginning when I started thinking about like breathing. Mm -hmm. and I <laughs> oh yeah. But I kind of get past that and stop because I tried that before with 
Become aware that there's a camera focused on you for 20 minutes. What? Uh, <laughs> or maybe that was just me. But I don't think I would have sat for that long. And then I found myself wondering, I wonder where I am in the 20 minutes. <laughs> it came sooner than I thought. Yeah. I, I, I became nervous that maybe my timer had shut off. And I got a little bit self-conscious about that. So I looked down at it, and I had 45 seconds left. So <laughs> if I had only waited. <laughs> Thomas? I, uh, I thought it was a somewhat typical pattern. Um, thinking about the word. Thinking about, thinking about the word. Thinking about, thinking about, thinking about the word. Um, and then sort of back and forth. And it's, it's like um, you, you can see where some of the early desert fathers and mothers posited the idea of a devil who's trying, <laughs> who's trying to oppose you when you're meditating. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, and it was sort of like, all right, we tried thinking about the word thing, and that's not working. Now, an itch. Yeah. An itch. Let's see what that and and then when that's sort of you know in the same same way you sort of um, you sort of acknowledge that it's there and then you, you you sort of detach from it in a way. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And then it's like, all right, how about again like a whole bunch of just random images? Boom, 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 boom. You look at it, you see it, and and you just sort of buy through those. Hopefully, you know, you just buy through those. They go there, they flat. And at the end, are you done? All right, here's my work. Mm -hmm. Back to my work. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of just that, just going back to the work, and back to the work. And then typically, you know, at the towards the end of the prayer, there will be some time of just sort of that calm abiding, where where the prayer is, you can feel you can feel yourself entering into the prayer. The distractions are still there. They don't ever, you know, not. And you know, and one of the I was thinking. I was supposed to be praying. Um, one of the secondary things that, that we learn from the prayer, which is not often talked about in the literature, uh, and it's very important for us to learn this, is that we are not as in control of our minds as we think we are. And one of the illusions that we have to rid ourselves of when we begin the work is that this false consciousness that we live in and deal with is us. And, then, and one, it is us, and two, it is something real. And if we, one of the things that we should learn from while doing the prayer, but not think about it, um, until afterwards, is, is look at all these just random things that pop up. And, and this is important for us to know from experience that we don't have control. One, that we don't have control over our minds and our wills. And two, that these thoughts come from somewhere other than our center, and we, and we see how much of a reactive program robot we are. Madison Avenue knows this already, and there are people who spend their days taking advantage of this, but we don't know it until we know it, and we say we know it is because we've been, we've been taught to parrot it from the spiritual text, but we don't know it until we actually observe it in action. And that's an important thing for us to know, like, which is sort of secondary to the other main intensity of the semi but, uh, but nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Did anybody have um, 
Did anybody have any success with that feeling, that that emotion of the mother gazing at the child in the in the crib? Anybody have any luck with that? No, I, I, I started thinking about that, and then I and then I started hearing the words to cast the cradle. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that'll that'll be a problem. I guess that's why I picked card toss unless it was suggested that, but mm -hmm. the actual visualization of the feeling. I didn't accomplish this time with that, but learned everything. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah, I always find that in the middle of it, or towards the end, that there are some moments where I'm just here and just present. But you know, at the same time, it's, you know, it, it, 20 minutes to the and that never happened. It still wasn't done wrong. Mm -hmm. you, know, it's, you can't do this wrong. Which is why it's such an important and powerful prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, let's stop the recording. Go